Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Honest Jay Nowak, Season 2. And now we got ourselves two more episodes to worry about for today in terms of our little marathoning session here on September 1st. So let's just get it on, shall we? And here we got 789, which I'm going to be using to talk a bit about frostbites. Now, frostbite itself is a process where the skin, in fact, becomes shriveled up, and it becomes so cold and numb to the point where blood vessels end up blowing to pieces. And the exposed blood is eventually sitting there to pretty much coagulate to a point where it eventually starts to turn blackish. And when that happens, then it pretty much leaves a certain body part completely useless. When it's useless, it has no reason to be on the body. And what's even worse is that with this kind of coagulated blood, it could leak out into the well parts of the bloodstream, the parts that are still working properly, and eventually create some sort of fatal embolism that'll travel all the way over to the heart and kill you by a heart attack. So, of course, that's why most people will recommend to get over to the hospital where they can amputate these limbs to prevent this sort of travesty from taking place. It'll possibly end your life. But hey, you know what? That's the miracle of medicine right there for you. The real big downside though, to not being able to live with the limbs for the rest of your whole life, depending on which ones have been affected to begin with, is pretty much just goes to show. Especially with how cold things have been getting and a lot of people believing that things are only getting colder and not warmer like what we're currently facing here. I mean, it really just, just goes to show that we don't have many people to trust anymore. But hey, you know what? At least I can now actually talk about something very honest about myself. So, I'm going a little further here on HJN and talking about the fact that I myself have had frostbites before. And man, were they quite an unbelievable experience I somehow managed to survive. I especially remember the fact that I had frostbite on both of my wrists. For some time, my blood was pretty well messed up. The skin turned pretty darn red in a way, and I was pretty numb for hours at a time. But yet, if you take a look at them now, well, they are fully intact. I managed to heal myself from frostbite. A phenomenon that normally would never be curable by any means. The only real way out of the situation would be to amputate these areas in order to prevent any sort of further problems from taking place. But yet, well, I got both hands. All fingers. Nothing is prosthetics. Nothing includes anything artificial. Nothing at all. No artificial stuff of any sorts. So it does go to show that I might as well just be considered one of the only species of humans on this planet that can, in fact, withstand frostbite without getting amputated. Or at least without the need to be amputated because of frostbite. So for the most part, I will say I am certainly quite a fortunate individual by any means, but I can't really say the same for everybody out there. There have been a few notable cases, including one where a teacher ended up falling unconscious after getting up to the porch, but for being found hours later with lots of frostbitten areas, especially in the smaller appendages, like the fingers and toes. They all, of course, had to be amputated immediately. And then, of course, once the teacher recovered, then, well, no more fingers and toes pretty much came along. So, so many things had to be relearned, pretty much. And it just goes to show that unless you are willing to go as far as possible to have robotic limbs put on your body, then, well, you'd have to be stuck without any of these things. Unless, of course, you are actually willing to do what you're supposed to in the colder climates, 
wear the right kind of clothing. End of story. So that's just pretty much what goes to show if that would actually happen to you or if it would happen to somebody else that you might know. Well, anyways, that's going to cut it for today. And I will say that it's been quite a ride so far, but hey, we still got one more thing left. So stay tuned later today for just that. If you want to see more go down on my channel, though, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.